On July 24th, 2020, Arcus uploaded a video called First Burrito Speedrun by Arcus, in which he speedrun making a burrito in the 100% category. This was his first attempt and he had a lot of mistakes, so let's see how he did it and what he could do to improve. The method of timing that Arcus used during the speedrun was to use his hands, probably on an off-screen keyboard. Later on, he uses a foot pedal, which is essentially a little pedal you can press to split for you, just like a keyboard, except it's a lot more convenient. As you can see, he has to go out of his way to split each time he adds an ingredient. The speedrun starts with an empty counter and ends with a fully wrapped burrito with these ingredients inside. A tortilla, beans, cheese, sour cream, tomatoes, green chilies, lettuce, and hot sauce, all in that order. A few seconds after starting, he states that he should have gotten his spoons ready in advance. This would have significantly improved his time as he had to waste precious moments getting things from other drawers and off camera. The next step is to add the ingredients. There are no official leaderboards for this, so we'll be using a splits as reference. One thing to note is that he does hesitate on many of the ingredients. He had to go get other things from off camera or in drawers. Since this is his first run live stream of this category, it's okay to make mistakes. There's no world record. When getting the sour cream, he walks off camera to get another one that's already open, this wastes more time, and then he struggles to get the sour cream off the spoon, wasting even more time. Another thing to do is that he didn't have the proper silver route, so when he went for the tomatoes, he diverts for a fork, just to reduce the juices on the burrito. A shot that would end up losing him time. So we'll use a fork. I'm going to put the forks in here. I was so unprepared, this is ridiculous. Arca states that a speedrun wasn't even prepared that much. The next two splits after the tomatoes go flawlessly. Then he loses a little bit more time getting more hot sauce. After folding a burrito, the clock reads 305.3. A new record. That might be fast for a casual viewer, but it could get lower. And exactly 100 days earlier, on March 16th, 2020, I'm not joking, he's a time traveler. He uploads a video called Burrito Speedrun in 1397 by Arcus. In this world record attempt, he found new strats to make the entire run in under 15 seconds, absolutely destroying the three minute barrier. Yes! 13 seconds! Look at that! We just speed ran a burrito in 13 seconds. Can you believe it? You know how in the previous speedrun he used his hand timer? Yeah, that wasn't that fast. He used the foot pedal instead and that helped him a lot more, so he had his hands open to do other things. Not only that, but he was prepared in setting out all the ingredients in advance. Some would call this cheating, but there are no rules in the speedrun that doesn't exist. The stars aligned and the spoons were set. Everything was perfect, the ingredients were laid out in a row, they didn't glitch out like last time. Now Arcus isn't the only one who run this category. Mr. Chan Chan uploaded a video on September 10th, 2020, doing the same exact thing, but better and faster. He managed to make a burrito in 12.28, which beat Arcus by a landslide. He did everything better and faster, and he finished with the best celebration I could ever imagine. Now there are possible time saves, it just all depends on how fast you are. One idea I had for the speedrun to make it even faster is to ditch the spoons all together. I'm not sure how efficient it would be to use your hands, but Arcus only used his right hand to grab the spoons to add the ingredients. It might be faster to use both hands to grab the ingredients so you can use two things at the same time. It might be faster, it might be slower, who knows. But uh, all three videos will be in the description down below if you're interested in watching them. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below 